Hey guys and welcome to the vlog. So today I'm going to be doing a vision board. Got all my stuff laid out. I got me some stickers <coughs> that I'm going to use. I got me some glittery paper. Got my handy dandy scissors. These are the stickers that I'm going to be using. I got me some paint. Got me some paint brushes. I got me some foam and poster board adhesive. Y'all know I got most of this from Dollar Tree or Walmart. I got me a handy dandy poster board. And I had made me um <coughs> a Pinterest account and then I just kind of went through and found little things that I want so I printed them off what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them out put on this paper and then we're going to glue them to this poster board so I ain't going to hold y'all up I'm just going to show y'all like some little stuff that I you know I got sands, I got pictures. Um, houses, cars, just all kind of different stuff that I'm trying to manifest within my life. Um, I have a book, a journal that I, um, I write my manifestations and my desires down in. And now I'm gonna put it into a vision, baby. I'm going to place it on this good old vision board and um, make it come to life because I've seen a lot of people doing vision boards. I've watched a lot of people do vision boards. Some of them already have their stuff cut out. This is my first time ever doing a vision board. So, I'm going to get into it. And then once I get everything done, I'll come back and show y'all the finish result. So, y'all just... Hey guys and welcome back to the vlog. So the other day I started a vlog where I was telling you guys I was starting my vision board. I've been putting it off and putting it off and putting it off and procrastinating. So I wanted to go ahead and get it done and get it on out the way because I mean better late than never. Better late than never starting. So, I had to stop procrastinating and I had to tell myself, I can, I will, and I shall. So, um, I showed you guys that I had my poster board, I had my little cutouts from Pinterest, I had me some little cute glitter paper and some glue. I was going to add some paint and I added like some little color squigglies, I guess. I didn't, I didn't too much like that. I didn't really care for that. So, um, it is complete. It is dry. So, I'm going to turn the camera around and I'm going to show you guys what I have. And I'm going to try to just kind of tell you why I have it like that. Um, but this is my vision board because this some of this stuff is stuff that I'm trying to accomplish before the end of 2020. And then come 2021, we'll do a new vision board. But guess what? We're not going to procrastinate. We're going to be on top of it. We're going to be on top of it. You hear me? Okay, so just hang tight. And I'm about to flip y'all around and show y'all what I have. Okay. So, as you can see, you got your 2020 up here. <clears throat> so, I started my YouTube channel, and so I decided that I would put the things that go according to my YouTube channel. Um, as of right now, I have... I believe it's nine subscribers so before 2020 is out I want to get a thousand subscribers and by I mean I know it's a long shot but moving forward in 2021 I'm trying to get to 
100k subscribers so that's why that is there because that's my focus right now and that's one of my focus is getting this YouTube off the ground and running I'm trying to get those views up I'm trying to get the that subscriber count up I mean that's that's just what it is over here um, me and baby are recently engaged um, so we are currently planning a wedding so this is kind of my idea for my wedding um, these are just some dresses that I've seen that I thought were really really cute kind of my style you can't really see the front but I'm going for I actually put these on here because the embellishments that they have going down the back is what I'm looking for for my wedding dress um, this is the type of cake that I'm going for a little small cake up top with some cupcakes um, so that I don't have to do a lot of cutting um, this is the type of floral I just noticed this is upside down but that's the type of floral arrangement that I'm going for let me rotate you so yeah that's the floral arrangements that I'm going for and then these are some invitations that I've seen because I'm currently working on doing my save the dates and my invitations um, <clears throat> this is how I would like for my uh, setup to be I have three different pictures I have this one and then I have this one and then I have this one so they all kind of tie in to how I want it set up for my reception and this is just some um, just some inspirational pictures that I found on Pinterest and it kind of ties into my color scheme a little so that was kind of giving me some inspiration and then over here um, I have some houses because me and baby are looking to um, purchase a house soon so these are just some Blue Star Homes that I've seen, we are looking for something with a three or four car garage. Um, I just like the way that they were set up, so I decided to put those on here as well. And then this one, and it actually has the floor plan. So that's, you know, that's something that we're working towards as well. And then I put a little saying here, it says, I attract more and more streams of income. And above it, I put you will and I shall. Basically, saying that the universe is telling me that, that I will attract more and more strength of income. And not telling myself that I shall. Um, this here is... My dream car has always been a Mercedes Benz. I've always been into the S Class 550, I believe it is. And then I decided I kind of wanted to switch up the game. Because this here is a Mercedes. This is a 2021 Mercedes C Class, I believe. I believe it's a C550. Um, so, yeah, that was inspiration to me because. If I put it here and I look at it constantly, I'm telling myself that this will come into fruition, or however you say that word. But basically, um, it's a car that I desire, and I have a notebook where I write my desires down, and I write my manifestations down, because I'm manifesting this stuff within my life. Not just within my life, but it, within our lives. Um... Moving forward, when I do my next vision board, I'm going to have Baby put some stuff on here as well that she wants to um, achieve and things that she's going for. I kind of know what her dream car is, so I, we, 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 I got something in store. But 
that's the 2021 I believe it's either a GLC or a GLE um, and I just had them in different colors I think that's like a cranberry red that's a black on black that's a white on black that's another black on black and then we got another burgundy-ish color and then we have a silver with a nice pretty red bow on it or gunmetal gray but those are just some uh, inspirations to push me towards my my goal of owning a mercedes-benz vehicle um then i have some more sayings over here it says you can and then this one just says be thankful for what you are now and keep fighting for what you want to be tomorrow and i just i joined that together because basically to me it's telling me that I can be thankful for what I am now and and I can keep fighting for what I want to be tomorrow. So that's just some inspirational words that I thought would, you know, tie into this vision board. Um, like I said, this is my first time doing a vision board. As a beginner, I think I did pretty good. And then here I have paid off because moving towards the end of 2020, I want to get some. I have put a sample credit card here I want to get my credit card pay off um, I should have put a little car here because I'm trying to accomplish getting my vehicle paid off so it'll be one less bill that I have to worry about and then I can start moving towards that goal um, I put you shall and I shall say goodbye to credit card debt that is the most definite I will say goodbye to credit card debt. Um, this one just says debt is a thing of my past, and it will. It's going to be a thing of my past. This one says I am financially free. Money is no longer an issue. I have more than I will ever need. I am free to do what I want. I am generous with what I have. I am working towards being financially free. I am working towards everything that I've ever wanted in life. I'm going to get it. I will get it. But yeah, that's just that's just something that I really, really, really want to work towards. Then I just put some money rolls, just a, a steady income of cash. She's opening her wallet and just has a, an abundance of cash. That's something that I'm trying to have moving forward. As well as this big guap of cash here. Um, that's just got some hundreds laid out. And I think they are banded in ten thousands. But um, it's, it's just basically tying into this I am financially free. Over here, it says my bank account never stops growing. Moving forward, it, it, it's going to keep growing. And then I just place some more cash. More cash. More cash. And this one says my bank account is overflowing with money. Basically, same thing as this one. It's just letting me know that our bank accounts is going to be overflowing with cash moving forward. We would no longer, we can no longer say that we are broke. We can no longer say that we don't have it. Or we can't purchase something because we don't have it. This is, this is going to be manifested. This is being manifested as we speak now, today. And then last but not least, this is just um, some vacation spots. Bora Bora has always been one of my dream vacation spots. Just like getting married has always been one of my dreams. And it's finally coming true for me. Um, so yeah, this Bora Bora vacation extravaganza. Um, we have not officially planned a honeymoon. But um, God willing... That we will be able to either go here for our honeymoon or next year's anniversary or 
two to three years from now. But we will go to Bora Bora. Um, I don't know if Baby actually has that dream vacation, but this has always been my dream vacation. This has always been a place that I've wanted to go. So, I'm just going to zoom in a little bit and just show y'all the nice little bungalows. Um, I cannot swim. I'm not an avid swimmer, but I just love how those little huts sit standing above the water. And I think I will actually enjoy it. You know, I've seen some videos where some people have went to Bora Bora and they really enjoyed it. So I'm hoping to get that same experience. So, yeah, this is my 2020 vision board. And uh, stay tuned because I got something else in store. So, like I was saying, y'all just make sure that y'all stay tuned because we got something else in store. Make sure that y'all smash that subscribe button. Thumbs up and like the video. Comment down below and stay tuned. In the meantime, in between time, we'll holler.